Welcome to App Design Tips. This video is part of a free complete icon design tutorial. If you want to follow along, you can download the exercise files using the link in the description below. And now the fun begins. Let's start designing our first icon. Now I want to start out with a more complex icon just so you can be a little bit more familiar with the tools and what goes into creating the icon. So we're going to start with this map icon here and I'm going to just zoom into this artboard first and we're going to see how creating some simple shapes and combining them you can create a really complex icon such as this map icon. So the very first thing I want to do actually is just align this with these grids and I can actually change the size of these squares in this grid so maybe if I want to double them up instead of four I'll try eight for this one and I'm just going to line this to the edge right here so I'll just nudge this with my keyboard and I want to resize this to be just two squares to the right, two squares to the left and we're just going to use this for reference but I think this will help and then if we just bring this down maybe three squares so that should give us a good starting point. And now we can create our first simple shape. We're going to create a rectangle here. And so we can just drag this rectangle down about like so. So three squares by eight squares. And that's a 24 by 64. And I want to remove the border. And just so we can see what's behind it for now, let's make it red and then let's decrease the opacity just a little bit. It doesn't matter how much for right now. We're just creating the shapes. Now this started out as a rectangle but if we use our selection tool we can double click inside this shape and now we have access to each corner and we can drag those corners independently. So I want to drag this top left corner just one square down and do the same thing down here. So now we have that nice fold of the map. And to save us a lot of work that we would have to do otherwise let's just click outside of here and now we can click and select this shape and holding down option or alt we can click and drag to copy this shape and we're just going to copy this three times and now for this shape and for this shape if we hold down shift and select both of these we can flip the direction horizontally and now we have the shape that we want now we want to create this inside shape. We want to create this nice border. So how I would do that is click on one of these shapes and using copy and paste keyboard shortcuts we can paste that and you can see it's pasted because the opacity just doubled up. If I move this around you can see that there's two shapes there so I'll just hit undo. And now we can double click again and we can drag a rectangle to select these two corners and with our arrow keys, just holding down the down arrow key four times, one, two, three, four, we can move that down. And let's select these two at the bottom, one, two, three, four, up. And that's starting to look good. And now, if you want, you can hide this map layer for now, because it's not doing us any good right now, but we can always show it when we do need it. So we have this object now we can copy a few times. Let's copy this over here. And now for these two objects, we can flip the direction again. And the last thing we want to do is create this border on this edge. So we can double click again, select the top left and the bottom left corners. And let's just nudge this four pixels to the right, one, two, three, four, and then one pixel up. And that should give us some good alignment here. Let's do the same thing over on this side, one, two, three, four, and then nudge it up once. And you can see here we have our nice map border and we also have our map image. So at this point I think we can change the colors of this background. So this background I want it to be just this light gray something like this. And I want the map to be blue like the ocean. So we can go back in here from these colors that we've saved before we can click on this blue and that's the nice blue that we want. Now I don't think I'm going to need this grid but I can always turn it back on if I do so I'm going to go ahead and click on the artboard name and then we can click on this check mark to remove that grid. And then if you ever want to reference the image again let's turn that layer back on and we can also bring it clear up here to the top and turn down the opacity just to see how things are looking as we go through this. So 
we're at a good start right now. Let's bring this back down. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to combine shapes to make a complex shape. If you're enjoying this free icon design tutorial, I have a complete course on learning Adobe XD for UI UX design. You can find a link in the description below with a steep discount included for my YouTube fans. This course will cover everything from learning the Adobe XD interface to designing and prototyping an entire app from start to finish.